brain. Please uh, remember Sister Virginia, amen, she needs healing. Uh, Sister uh, Patty says she said she is having problems with her heart. Amen. So please pray for Sister Virginia. Amen. That the law of healing virtue will flow through her body from the crown of her head, head to the soles of her feet. Amen. Amen. And also let us continue to pray for Brother Clarence. Also let us also continue to pray for us. Brother Clarence, the Bay, and Sam, and all those that are being or that are shut in and shut in due to the pandemic. Amen. Let's talk to the praise of the Lord. We'll keep his head in protection around all of us during this time of the pandemic. Amen. 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 Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hands. Amen. God, we acknowledge us all by our heads in prayer. O Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank the Lord for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of praise. Lord, we thank the Lord for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning, clothed in our right mind to the reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for guiding us as we, uh, for Lord, watching over us as we slumbered last night, Lord, to keep your angels of protection around about us, Lord, as we travel over the dangerous highways and byways, Lord, as we made it to this house of God this morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up, Lord, with a desire, Lord, to come out to this house. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the Sunday school lesson and for the word that we heard on this morning. Lord, let it fall upon good ground, Lord, and take root in our hearts. Lord, I ask, Lord, right now, you look for all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. You said in your word, by your stripes, we are healed, Lord. Touch Sister Virginia from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. Lord, restore back to her her health right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I ask, Lord, you look at all these other prayer requests, Lord, that have been submitted before your throne, touching each and every one of them according to your will, Lord. Lord, you know there are and then of all situations. Bless and move according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, when I ask, Lord, you look for the words that we're about to receive, Lord. Send your word, Lord, under the anointing that will destroy the yoke, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, you bind every hindering spirit that is in the yes, house Lord. right now, Lord. Let your word go forth, Lord, with power, with demonstration of power of the Holy Ghost, Lord. Lord, bless the Lord, I ask right now that you bless us to receive your word and let your word fall from good ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen amen. 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 amen.
So please, this offering uh, this morning, please remember she's for Christ. Amen? Amen. And also, we have uh, our, uh, our groundbreaking service coming up next Sunday. Amen. Now, Amen. The, the service and everything will be held here, uh, but the groundbreaking ceremony, the actual digging of the dirt, will be done outside, and we we'll just go out there to pray and to break ground. But the services will be held here inside the building. Amen? Amen. Amen. So keep everybody out the heat. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. And the only thing we'll be doing out there is we'll be doing our prayer and also uh, the shoveling of the dirt. Amen? And remember that the groundbreaking service will be, get, will be at 1245. Amen? amen. And that's the actual dig. Amen? That's the ceremony. And also, we have our church's uh, monthly leadership meeting. For all leaders, it's been important. We just, uh, we're starting to get plans together for our uh, groundbreaking service, so it'll be all hands on deck. So all leaders, please show, please come to our church's monthly leadership meeting, and it'll be at 5 o'clock, amen, this Sunday. And uh, one more announcement. Um, we have our church's monthly fast day will be this uh, Tuesday, amen, uh, September the 7th. That is our church's monthly fast day. Amen. And also, our last announcement, last but not least, is the Allen's Week to clean the church. Amen. amen. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. But any problem, I want to thank you all for this offering that we're about to receive. Lord, bless to be used for the first of your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm so glad.
the world look at apostolics will run, shall cry. Hey, sure looks stupid. No. You don't look stupid. You're worshiping God. Amen. If you can't move, then shake legs.
inside and I'm just going to find home with me. Come on, preacher. Amen. Every so often, you man, I did find home with him. Many times I just kept getting lost. Because I simply didn't go in the directions. But in reality, it's probably a good bit of truth to the stereotype. And it's in it, it's not limited to a male. Right, that's right. Women can be foolish too. Yeah, amen. Stupid. My, my, my. I, I lived like a fool for 27 years. That's right. Come on, preacher. Hello. It amazes me, amen, when. God bring you to your senses. All of a sudden, the world want to call us fools. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we're the only ones in our right mind. Praise God. If you were to look at the situation from a spiritual perspective, you'll see the world lost souls. And they desperately trying to simply save themselves. Well, you're doing good. I'm talking about a self-directed man. It's uh, it's uh, uh, you don't have to look far, amen, to see that in our world today. There are people today that should be in church. And washing their cars, cleaning the house, getting ready to go barbecue. Well, amen, amen. Piddling around. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Ready for the ball game. It's amazing, man, that, that uh, we don't have to look far uh -huh. to see a self directed man. Uh -huh. People think they can earn their way into heaven. Through hard work uh -huh. and accumulated good deeds. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come on, Come on, preacher. We discover in the church world there are many churches, amen, that have all types of programs, social programs. Right? That's right. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a message of salvation. Right. Go ahead. That's right. right. I'm talking about <laughs> history reflected, amen, the Catholic Church at one time was giving out salvation certificates. That's right. You don't? It depends upon how much you paid them. That's right. That's correct. I'm talking about the self. Directed man. Uh, I lived there for many years. Praise God. Amen. Uh, there were times, amen, amen, that uh, I did some some foolish stuff. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Hello. Yes. My goodness, I, I remember uh, I, I was um, coming up to the world. Um, I used to like to wear orange and purple clothes. <laughs> I had my shoes to match. <laughs> Big old afro on my head. I had three gold teeth. Oh, my. Uh oh, 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 It's amazing, amen, how we can get caught up in self. Amen. But guess what? They're wrong about these accumulated deeds. Uh -huh. One must be born again yes, amen. of the water and the spirit. Yes, amen. And 
there are people that will look at us because we're weak in the presence of God yeah. 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 and call us fools. They would look at us for an hour and call us fools. But we're the only folks that are in that right mind. Amen, amen. I want to be a fool for Jesus Christ. May you clap your hands up to God. Come on, hallelujah. You clap your hands up to God. I don't care if you do something stupid. If it's for the Lord. sins in the Murray Hill Church. He was just an old sinner. The Lord filled him with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking out of the tongue that the Spirit of God gave to others. And he didn't know how to do anything but break down. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And when he got the Holy Ghost and stopped talking in tongues, you break. That's right. he jumped up and stop breaking this. Oh, yeah. That's right. But he was doing it unto the Lord. Come on, let's praise the Lord. He was doing it unto the Lord. Today's passage from Luke described the world as a real wealthy person. Yes. Who makes a lot of plans based only on his own thoughts, desires. I want you to take time to look at the passage again and notice how many times he would use the word I uh -huh. and my. Uh -huh. What you see is that his focus was squarely on himself.
And he told me a few months ago, he said, I've been inviting the barber to church for almost 30 years. And guess what? All right now. He showed up. He sat in that chair. Yes, yes. And he told him this the other day. He said, My soul is in point. Yes, yes Lord. Come yes. on. He said, What they're doing over there in my church, uh -huh. something is wrong. Yeah. Go ahead. I told the preacher, I said, I tell you what. But it was the mercy and grace of God on, looked down on me yes, and yes. saw that self-directed man and he saw the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, God. I can make something out of him. Yes. Yes. I can change him. Oh, yes. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Oh, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. The Lord then use little words. He simply called a man a fool. <laughs> All he was thinking about acquiring more and more, ready to turn down the bond and build it. My, my, he called him a fool. Worldly wisdom amounts to nothing in the eyes of omniscient, all wise God. And he expects his children to request and follow his guidance. This is the problem in our walk with God. Oh, we make up in our mind sometimes to follow him. But it's a difference between following the Lord and making a request. There are times in your walk with God you don't have to talk to God and request God to give you direction. Amen. Because we have a tendency to walk in that self-directed man and sometimes we'll get ahead of God. There are times we 
have to make critical decisions in our lives. Amen. And the first thing we need to do is get on our knees and talk to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible teaches us the steps of a righteous man is ordered by the Lord. The message before us today is clear. When we figure out our own plans and take action with no thought about God advice according to the word. Many of us know exactly what the word of God says. But we are walking that self-driven man or that self-driven woman and we know exactly what the word of God says. Amen. Let me tell you something. That self-driven man and self-driven woman ain't going to make heaven at all. Hello? Amen. Listen. Mm -hmm. He was self-driven. He, self he got kicked out. He got kicked out. That's right. We have to humble ourselves. We got to humble ourselves in the sight of God. Amen. This text is talking about a walk today, but let me tell you something. You got poor folks act just as ignorant as this guy. Stop behaving like fools. Always remember the Lord has a plan for your life. He knows where you will succeed and where you will fail. Amen. Be wise. Uh -huh. Be wise. Uh -huh. And ask him for direction. One of the main reasons why we have a problem with homosexuality is about that self-driven man or woman. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They let their flesh uh -huh. go haywire, uh -huh. and then they want to justify. Uh -huh. But according to the word of God, uh -huh. it is an abomination. It's something that God despise and he hates. Hallelujah. And self is a man. That's going out of control. The penitentiary is the best of them. Four of them. That's right. That's right. Self driven men. Self driven men. Self driven women. Self driven women. Uh huh. It's all about not God's plan, it's about me. but it's about their plan. Uh -huh, that's right. Yeah, don't want to listen. Come on now. I almost lost my entire life being a self-directed man. Uh -huh. Amen. I got friends that I grew up with. Never got a hold of this truth. Uh -huh. Either they're six feet under, uh -huh. or they're still in the penitentiary. Uh -huh. When I woke up and got a revelation of who Jesus Christ was, yes. and repented of my sins, uh -huh. and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sin, amen, I turned loose that self-directed man. You clap your hands unto the Lord. I turn to you. It amazes me. Throughout the scriptures, we see men of God, even women. The beautiful story that I love in the Bible is about that woman. Issue blood. Yes. For many, many years. She should have been dead. Yeah. Initially, she was a self.
Right. Trying to cure herself. Trying to figure it out herself. But somebody came along uh -huh. and told about Jesus. Told about Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hello? Uh -huh. No longer was she self directed. She began to turn to Jesus. But I want you to read. I think it's Luke 9. Get, get Luke 9. I think it's Luke 9. Is it Matthew 9? Praise God. I want to show you something. One translation. During this particular situation, Jesus asked them to give him a place. Right. That's what it takes. To give the Lord a place.
Haiti. While serving in the military on the home side of Germany. Self-direct man. Decided one day to give the Lord the place. Simply by repenting of my sins and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins. And it didn't stop there. In order for me to continue to live for God, I had to continue to give him a place. That is the problem with people who backslide. That self-driven man wants to get back in. And the only way you can get back up, you decided not to give the Lord a place. And if you could take Give him a place, hallelujah. 
Give him a place, give him a place. He kaya ta ba kuri ala kaya ta. self-directed man and woman. We can cause you to rob God. Come on, preacher. We can cause you to lie. We can cause you to cheat. Take the wisdom of God above the wisdom of the world. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Let's thank the Lord one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Clap your hands on the floor. 